Sometimes you just need the advice of people that aren't in your direct close circle because, well, you're planning something evil. When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. So we got a message. Am I the jerk? Mm -hmm. My ex-fiance cheated on me with the girl he's now engaged to. Ouch. Yeah, that's after he cheated on me and word got out. Because he was busted by my friends in a public place, his other ex contacted me and asked if I would join her for some drinks. Okay, so we've got two exes now. Yep. Oh, wow. We then became fast friends, shared in our mutual hate for this jerk. Now that he's newly engaged to another girl, they've decided they're going to celebrate with a brunch for the family and friends this Sunday. Okay. Now, the brunch is going to be at the place where they had their first date, which is conveniently the same place where he had his first date with both his ex and I. Oh, that's his spot right there. Uh Uh-huh. He's got a formula, it sounds like. Yeah. Since his big dummy posted the announcement on Instagram, his ex and I both know the where and the when, so now we've decided it would be fun to get looking all cute and just so happen to be there having mimosas at the same time on Sunday. Oh. Our presence, obviously, will definitely make him nervous. But we don't plan on any sort of actual confrontation. Does this make us jerks? Oh, gee. (laughs) Yikes, right? Wow. Right. Wow. Okay. Uh, (laughs) I, like, okay, if I'm the guy in that situation, and if I can put myself in his shoes. Now, listen, I've never broken up with a fiancé. And then got another fiance. Um, I've only ever had one fiance who turned uh-huh. into my wife. Um, uh-huh. So let let me let me suspend disbelief just a little bit and pretend that I'm this guy. I see two of my exes, and I'm with my fiance in the restaurant that we're having a little. It's a little party, right? It's like a, it's not just yeah, it's he and his fiance. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's awkward. Yeah, for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really awkward. That is a, even if they don't say anything, and I would imagine, man, if they are in that restaurant, they are at least walking over and going, oh, hey, and, inter- and maybe I, I can see them going over to the family and saying, oh, so good to see you. Oh, well, they said they're not planning on a confrontation. But, but yes, but if like, they knew the family, yes, if they're it would up- be... Like normals, oh, hello. Well, especially nice if if like mom gets up and goes to the restroom or whatever, and just meeting there in you know over by the restrooms, just to oh hey, so happy to see you, you know, and just being oh yeah yeah so yeah, that's, happy for jerk face your son. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean, so is she a jerk for it? I mean, you know, a couple of people. Well, first of all, Rebecca says on Facebook, funny, yes, petty, also yes. But people could change and become better. I don't think you'd be doing anyone any favors, yourselves included. Just move on. Think of it as a bullet dodge. All right. So what do you think? And have you ever done anything like this? Because we'd love to hear that story as well. 502-571-9970. group therapy so she wants to know if she's the jerk because she wants to crash her ex-fiance's brunch with his new fiance with uh family and friends present and Yikes. yeah and says look I, i'm not gonna have any confrontation i just want to be there i just want to be can there sit there and drink so, mimosas yeah, yeah what's the big deal what's the big deal Brittany's all like on text message yeah they're not planning on a confrontation they're going to be day drinking there's going to be confrontation oh yeah true true but britney's all like just the right level of petty you're not the jerks do it mm. there you know what there's more people i think on facebook are leaning towards um you're being a jerk don't do it grow up but then there are some they're all like team yes go do it <laughs> and wow. Charlotte's like, even though I think y'all should move on, I think you should do it. It's like a last hurrah, seeing it would be a thank goodness for both y'all. I'd just do it just to be petty. Yeah, and you know, you can kind of tell 
uh, like, you know, Karen writes in and says they definitely should and both wear cute white dresses. It Ooh. would just take a few smiles and possibly waves at the ex and his fam to wreck their nerves, which is more than he deserves. Wow. Okay. Lindsay's also team like, go do it. If it was a different situation, then yes, it would be petty. But since he cheated on you with her, I'd so do it, especially with the other ex. Have fun, ladies. Um, Got a, got a tweet uh, from Joe that's like, uh, the guy must be wow because he has not one but two seeking revenge. They haven't healed and need to get rid of the baggage. Dang. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, he's lucky enough to... Uh, have two exes that one of them being an ex fiance that are still seeking revenge. Now, listen, uh, we have a resident doctor that calls the show. Absolutely. We default to him for his expertise. Yeah, he's Andrew the Love Doctor. What's your thought? Scorned women, let it go. Don't show up. Don't ruin his party, whatever that looks like. Here's the thing he's not worth it. Anybody who cheats isn't worth it. Let it go. Be better than that. If you're not happy in a relationship, man or woman, Get out. Don't cheat. Period. The end. If they, if they go, they're no better than he is. I know it might make him feel good at the moment, but down the road they're going to look back and regret it. It's just not the right thing to do. Um, if he's cheated on both of them, then he's going to cheat on her. Yeah. It's just it's going to happen. So, you know, in a relationship, man, if, if you're having struggles, and here's the thing, he didn't love either one of them because you don't cheat on somebody you're in love with. Period. The end. So let mm. it go. Move on. Be better than him. And find a man who's going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, period. There you go. So you're just saying, look, don't do it. Be the better person here. Be better than that. you got to be because if he cheated, he's not worth it. All right. Andrew, the love doctor. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, the smart answer is just move on. You go and, and move on with your new friendship with the other ex and hang out. You girls go somewhere else and enjoy the day. Now, Brandy is all like, um, y'all say move on. Uh, the, you know what, cheated on her. She, mm -hmm. he, she deserves some sort of revenge. Personally, I would have busted out his windows and burned all of his clothes. Men get away with everything and thinks, oh, it's okay. <laughs> wow. We don't recommend that either. So tell us your story. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a story there. Yep. All right. Yep. I mean, I think, but I think most of us are saying, listen, we get it. That would be perfectly petty. That'd be fun. We all kind of want to be sitting in the corner watching it go down, yeah. but don't. Yeah, I think if if we're all being mature here. Right. Uh, yes, put then, our mature hats on. Then don't. But if we want you to follow back up with us on the with show a good story for the radio. with a good story for the radio, <laughs> then please, please do that. And then please wish his mother a... Uh, uh, you know, a, a good oh. day from us, from Ben and Kelly. Oh, dang. Okay? As the, I mean, I couldn't even imagine. Like, you look at every, like, bad cheater guy, right? Mm -hmm. And then they have a mother. And then I, that's what I start thinking, like, oh, man, what if she knew? Do, do you think she knows? Well, of course she knows. Uh, well, well she knows that he. She may not know. She has a fiance. jerk her son is. Well, he has a fiance and he has a new fiance. So. Yes. I mean, she knows that part. So. But she might not be getting the full story as to why the other breakups happened. Right. All right. Well, uh, there you go. That's what our thought is. And keep us posted.